Yo, we're making coconut steamed peony shrimp today. It's a great dish, great appetizer to add to your repertoire. What's up? It's your boy Marwin. Today's recipe, we're cooking peony shrimp. I've had a lot of peony shrimp over my time. Mostly blah, 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 bland, no flavor. So I wanted to change that. Decided to cook with coconut water today. You know me, I'm always trying to introduce with every recipe at least one kind of flavor base or flavor concept. Coconut water is it for me today. You probably had, you know, cook with coconut milk, coconut oil to kind of get that coconut flavor in this, especially if you're doing a lot of Caribbean. Uh, for me, I wanted coconut, but not overpowering. Uh, coconut water is, you know, kind of a refreshing, you know, water. You know, most people drink it after working out. But I wanted to use it in, in cooking. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Let me know what you think. You know, I like to build flavor as we go. So I'm adding the chilies to a hot pan. The, the heat helps release some of the flavor from the chilies. That primes it for when I add the coconut water. Uh, so I'm gonna start adding a lot of my, what I call aromatics, aromatics, uh, the ginger, fresh garlic, along with allspice berries to kind of give it that Caribbean flavor. I got some salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna freshen up a little bit by adding some scallions or green onions, depending on where you're from. You may call them something different. Then I'm just gonna give them a, a nice stir. Uh, I don't have the, the heat too high, relatively low heat. Just want, again, want to be able to steam the shrimp once I add it. And so I've added shrimp with the shell on. Obviously, we, these are peeling each shrimp. The shell actually helps to kind of keep the, the shrimp moist as we, we cook, so it's, a, it's protecting a little bit. Uh, but there's just going to be a lot of flavor here with all the different aromatics and the peppers coming in. Remember, you're steaming these, not boiling these. So the trick is to cook these at a low temperature, mainly a simmer. Uh, if you want to play it on the safe side, you can actually cook these off heat with the lid on. Um, it might take you a little longer, but it'll make sure that you don't overcook these and have rubbery shrimp. That's all there is to it. There's not a lot of work, work here. Um, I can tell you these won't last long, so you might want to be quick. Serve these right out of the out of the pan. Don't let them sit too long. They're better like fresh. Um, but the kitchen's gonna have all kinds of smells in them. Smells in a positive way. So be ready for the crowd to, to congregate and get ready to dive in. Simple plating. Just put these on a plate. And let people dig in. I like to serve these with a nice kind of spiced ketchup. So ketchup plus my favorite Caribbean style hot sauce just mixed in and served straight up with the shrimp. Like I said, these make for a great appetizer. You wanna take the edge off before dinner or serve these at a party. They don't take long, ready to, get, ready to go in about 20 minutes, including prep time. Okay, I really, really like how this dish came together. Simple to make, simple ingredients, few ingredients, but the dish is complex without being complicated. I love the refreshing aspect of the coconut flavor from the coconut water. Don't worry about the heat. There's no really no heat. I know we use a lot of chili peppers, but it's really mild. It's really about like the combination of the flavors. They all gel well 